I want to give all praises and all glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rocha Kodash, and um, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Alright, peace and blessings to the elect. That's right, this is um, a one from the Great Millstone camp here in Trinidad. Come to do a uh, in transit again. Um, you know, just just thoughts on current events, world events. You know, things are happening right now. Um, yeah, I go like right right over there in Venezuela. <laughs> they have a, <laughs> a very huge influx of, of Venezuelans coming right down right in in this country. Women, men, children, uh, they're bringing the whole battalion and they're coming through because of the fact that their country is very hard right now and the people in this country are taking heed to that. The fact that Venezuela being an oil rich country and these people and these Venezuelans catching all hell over there and down, down here is the same oil rich country and we live in the, the lavish life so you didn't feel very soon that just like how Venezuela going through it you didn't feel we will go through it we will go through it you understand what I'm saying I'm people ain't taking they ain't taking heat to that they're just studying what I'm studying are going to lead to all hell breaking loose people studying what them studying and not studying what the most I want because what the most I want is clear the most I say for my determination is to gather all nations all right that is his determination that he may pour upon them his fierce anger um, for the whole world shall be filled with the fire of the jealousy, something like that. Uh, uh, let me get the scripture. Let me get the scripture. I feel, I, I feel I quoted two scriptures in one day. I ain't sure, but I'll, I'll get the scripture in Zephaniah chapter 3, uh, verse 8, and it reads Therefore, wait ye upon me, saith the Lord. Until the day that I shall rise up the rise up rise up to the prey. For my determination is to gather all nations that I may assemble all king all my that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them my fears my to pour upon them my indignation, even all my fierce anger, for all the earth shall be devoured in the fire of uh, the fire of my jealousy. Yeah, that is it. It was the same scripture I'm in South certain parts. But yeah, that is the most high determination. That is what he did determine for the earth, all right, to bring it, to bring down the rulers, the mighty ones, the ones who exalted unto heaven, the ones who puffed up, the ones who own everything. Bring them down and put them on the put them as basemen and put the men of the Lord, his people, as the as the real men should rule the planet earth because watch man the planet earth which you, the name for it is Aidan when you read in the scripture and the Lord power uh, planted a garden planted a garden east one in Eden the word Eden come from the Hebrew Aidan which means paradise or joy that is why you go read in um, Ecclesiastes what is that chapter 3 Verse 16, he say, Moreover, I beheld under the sun the place of righteousness, the place of judgment, and iniquity was there, and the place of righteousness, and uh, something was there. I can't remember the exact thing, but that is why he said that because this is the place of righteousness, it's supposed to be the place of true judgment. But over here, because the earth being given into the hands of the wicked, the so called white man, this place is the place of wickedness 
so-called white people, all of them. So-called white people face on all of them. So I guess he had to be the one ruling the earth. And by how he didn't rule the earth uh, right. He ruled the earth in complete, complete wickedness. That is how he ruled the earth. And, and just complete Overwhelming the, the wickedness of the so-called white man do on this on this uh, beautiful planet created by Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai. I'm looking for this Bible here now. Yeah, again. Just know eh? Bear with me. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 6 verse 1, right? It says, Hear therefore, O ye kings, and understand, learn ye that be judges of the ends of the earth, and the, the earth right now being um, governed by the hands and the so-called white man. Who's he saw in the Bible, right? It says, give heirs. The scripture says, learn. Learn to do what? To judge because you can't just, you can't just pick up yourself and say, well, this is how I want the earth to run. No. It have a structure. It have all other things. Um, 1 Corinthians 14, it says, I believe it's the last verse, let all things be done decently and in order. It's about all other things. You can't just pick up yourself and tell yourself that a man should lie with a man and make that law. That is not the order. That wasn't the order set up from the beginning. Neither will it be ever established forever. Because it's not righteousness. And the scriptures say righteousness is immortal. That is in this same book, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 15. You understand? Wickedness is not immortal. Wickedness does last for a period of time. The triumphant and the wicked is short. You understand what I'm saying? So, you have to learn on how to govern the earth, how to do, uh, put things in a proper perspective. You can't just pick up yourself and say you go and give um, guns in uh, children's hands to kill each other and, and want to rule forever. That That's wrong. That is a false balance. And a false balance is abomination to the Mosai. You understand? The Mosai and the Mosai don't deal with abominations. So it says, Give air, ye that rule the people. And this talking about you elites, boy. You elites, boy. Alright? And then we go in and rule the people right after the elect. Uh, Israel. They, they go and rule the people right after, but they go and be perfect. So they didn't go and have no, uh, no, no, they didn't go and have no um, wrong judgment when Israel come into power. All judgment go and be on point. It says, Give air, he that rule the people, and glory in the multitude of nations. For power, listen, for power is given you from the Lord, of the Lord. That is how you get power. Daniel chapter 4 verse 17. Alright? That is how you so-called white people, you didn't, you didn't just wake up one day and become this, get this uh, status, uh, superiority on the earth just so no, it was given to you. By Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, brethren. And I mean, uh, I just say brethren as a slang, but you, you so-called white people are not my brethren. Yeah. 
uh, it was just given unto you and it, it will be taken from you. It says, uh, and sovereignty from the highest who shall try your works and search out your counsels. Because being ministers of his kingdom, and who is his kingdom? Is the Most High Kingdom a piece of land? The Most High Kingdom is the nation of Israel. Yahweh Shai break that down. Yahweh Shai say, from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence and the violent taken by force. So, the kingdom of heaven is the Israelites. And the so called white man supposed to be ministering unto us the correct way and how, or how to live because that is what we, that is, that is what we power say. We power say we are people supposed to live under these laws and this is, that is just how it is. You understand? That is what we power, that is what we God say. We are a people who are supposed to live under certain laws, specific laws. Making us holy, making us separate and severed from among these other nations who do anything they want, especially the so called white people. They do anything they want. But the most I give you guidelines to follow. Alright? From the Creator of heaven and earth himself, the guidelines was given to Israel. Now, now the so called white man have the guidelines. He's supposed to read the guidelines and use, apply them wisely on the earth so the earth could, repl the earth could re keep replenished and re be rejuvenated. So uh, we go get bigger fruits, alright? The, the men go be stronger, the women go be more feminine, alright? But you, 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 instead, he sprays a, a lot of uh, he, the he being Esau, the so called white man, he sprays a lot of chemicals in the air, alright? Have uh, called hormonal imbalance in, in women, hormonal imbalance in men, the many feminine, the women masculine. All right, the, 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 the food that we eat and he sprayed along with chemicals. Okay, and that is how we going right now. And he like, he, he non the verge are trying to stop, which he should. But you should have been teaching me how to eat. Do you do eat shrimp? Do you eat pork? Alright? But rather in slavery, you used to shove pork, shove pork down the slave's throat. Alright? Feed them uh, um, uh, uh, something, boy. What is it called, boy? Uh, ribs and. You no, know, Jake, Jake loved them some ribs and, and, and some baby back ribs and all of them fuckery. Jake love to eat that shit now. But you eat a mite is always the cause of that. All you, all you teach them, all you teach the Mosai kingdom, which is the Israelites first, and then the kingdom go and actually manifest into a physical kingdom on earth, which will only be for the Israelites. The scripture script says, because being ministers of his kingdom, he have not judged aright. He didn't judge correctly. And, and, and we could clearly see that on the face of the earth today. That is not that is not no lie. It's not a it's not a, a story telling here. We could clearly see. The so called white man do not judge correctly. Because that is the same man who got to stand up and say he's not a racist. And he loves black people, so called. Which is Israelites, alright? And and but if a Jake do something, he get eighty years on it for the same crime he either might do. For the same crime. But because he's a Jake. He's a Jake, he's a Jake, so we had to penalize him. We had to send him in jail, he black. You understand that how you so called white people as think? You had to send him in jail, he's a black man, we don't deal with black people. And Jake's to this very day, he's still calling himself black people. We are not black people, we are Hebrews. Alright? We stop calling himself a black man. But yeah, um, it says, 
but because being ministers of his kingdom you have not judged that right nor kept the law nor walked after the counsel of the most high so you didn't keep the law you didn't judge correctly you judge bullshit you didn't keep the most high laws you keep your own way and your own philosophy and your own thinking you understand you think what you think is right what you think the earth should be governed by nobody cares what you so go why people think the earth should be or how the earth should be governed how the how the earth governing right now is is of our wickedness but in the kingdom of heaven it will be governed the correct way and everything will go back into its proper way and perspective and everybody will be happy then go and handle sighing and crying and weeping bitterly every minute of the day it says horribly and speedily shall he come upon you for a sharp judgment shall be to them that be in high places you see that a sharp judgment shall be to them that be in high places and that is that is all the way he leads by the banking families of these elites all over all over the world all right all in high places you are going to receive a sharp judgment okay hey okay. with that i'm going to say shalom and yahweh ba'asham yahushai ba'asham rucha kodash barakatam toni sinsi akyam ah shalom i'm a one sign i'm a one sign you know shalom